Number 36, letter A. What is the rate of heat conduction through the 3 centimeter thick fur of a large animal having a 1.4 meter square surface area? Assume the animal's skin temperature is 32 degrees Celsius, the air temperature is negative 5, and that the fur has the same thermal conductivity as air. All right, so we've seen a bunch of problems like this. Anytime you uh, see now the uh, rate of heat conduction, this is your formula, okay, Q over T. Remember that Q over T is simply equal to power, all right, so be basically Q is energy, T is time, so, you know, watts, uh, excuse me, joules per second, that's a watt, so Q over T is power. So I'm just going to substitute that as, as uh, P for right now. Then that's times A. I'm just rewriting the formula, T2 minus T1, the temperature difference amongst the two surfaces, and then divided by the thickness, all right? So basically, um, the constant, the thermal conductivity, it's that of air, so the air has a value of 0 0.023, so just plug that in. The surface area of the body is 1.4 meters square, that's good. The two temperatures, right, just take the positive minus the, just take the larger temperature minus the smaller temperature, and then consider what the sign should be, all right, after the fact. And then uh, the distance, they told us it's three centimeters, but we need that in meters, so it's three over 100. All right, this problem's fairly easy. I mean, this one's just a plug-in. Plug-and-play, 0 0.023 times then 1.4 times then uh, 32 plus 5, essentially. And then divided by now, parenthesis 3 over 100. And 39.7. Okay, 39.7. And this is in watts, okay? Or joules per second. Remember, they are equivalent. It's energy per time. That's what power is. And Q per T is the same thing. So letter B, it says, what food intake will the animal need in one day to replace this heat transfer? Well, if this is the amount of energy that's being consumed per second, right, right here, this is the amount of energy being consumed per second, then how do we find it out per day? That's simple, right? 30, we just have to do a conversion, 39.7 joules per second, convert now seconds into days, right? So there's 3,600 seconds in one hour. And then there's going to be 24 hours in one day. And now we find the amount of joules per day, which is what they want. So 39.7 times 3,600 times then 24. And voila. It's about 3.43 times 10 raised to the uh, 3 or 5, it looks like. And that's in joules. And again, joules per day is fine. That works. And there you go. Fairly straightforward. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe, hit the like button. We'll see you next time. Take care.